based on the, the uh, bits that you see in air. Um, there is a different, well, some people also claim it's SDR, but I personally don't believe that. If you actually do the demodulation in hardware and then feed the baseband signal into an analog digital converter, some people say, oh, this is software defined radio. I think it's just a marketing trick. It's a traditional analog receiver. But anyway, by moving the problem out of hardware for which you don't get documentation into the domain of software where you can do whatever you want as you as a programmer are used to, you know, you're the god of the, the, the software that runs on your system, um, you can basically, we can, we can start to attack these problems. And one approach to, these pro to, to attacking the problem is GNU Radio, which is a GPL licensed free and open source software project for software defined radio. You run it on a general purpose PC. You don't need any special purpose DSP or whatever kind of board. Um, you have building blocks like filters, demodulators, uh, FFT, and so on as building blocks. And you script them together using Python as a glue. You run it on Linux, on Mac OS, on BSD, on Windows, um, and it supports different hardware. And the only hardware you still need is this USRP, which uh, I have uh, conveniently in this small box here. Um, you can buy that for, I think, uh, about uh, 1.3K euros. So, um, so well, it's uh, somewhere between 1,000 and 1,500 1 euros, the complete setup, including the, the, you know, the, uh, the front end boards. So it is the ideal companion for a software like GNU Radio. You have a modular mainboard, um, which, which has analog and digital converters and so on, if pluggable front ends. So when today you want to listen to GSM, you plug in the front end for GSM frequency range, such as 900 megahertz, such as uh, um, 1800 megahertz. Um, if tomorrow you want to tune into a different protocol that runs on a different frequency, you plug in a different board and you receive and decode it. Sorry. A USRP mainboard has a couple of front ends. For GSM, you can use three front ends. There's the RFX 900 uh, for GSM 850 and 900 MHz. There's the RFX 1800, which you can use for 1800 and 1900 MHz GSM signals. And there is the DBSRX front end, which is a receive only front end, sufficient for uh, protocol demultiplex. Um, which you can use on all of the frequencies. However, the sensitivity is very low. So um, you can only receive strong signals with that board. So what kind of software do we have in AirPro? Um, we have two programs called GSMSP and GSSM, which were the two earliest implementation. Um, well, at least GSSM is by Joshua Lockie. Uh, it's considered early alpha level software, has many receive errors, even with relatively good signal. Um, so by now, I think almost nobody is using that software anymore, but it was milestones in, in achieving uh, you know, a freely available open source um, uh, GSM receiver. Uh, what came next was GSM T-Void, which is uh, for a long time it has been the best uh, um, decoder for GSM that has been available. It has a relatively comfortable UI where you see the frequency spectrum and you can, you know, you have a slider for the channel and a slider for whatever. It's, it actually has a, a, you know, a user interface that many people consider a user interface. Um, and uh, yeah, now the latest uh, component, latest addition of receiver software for uh, doing the actual decoding um, and, and uh, you know, getting the bits off the air is GSM Receiver, which was written by Piotr. Um, uh, and it has a much better decoding um, accuracy than any of the other ones. So um, by now, I would, if you want to play with this, I, I strongly suggest, uh, well, make your own opinion. But I personally and other people believe that GSM Receiver is the best uh, approach right now. It is still far from being complete. So even when you're close to have a good signal reception, you will still see dropouts and you will not get 100% good reception. Um, if you understand digital signal processing, you know, there's a desperate need for people to help with this project. Um, you know, go to the website, go to the wiki, join the mailing list, um, help us out. Um, we can uh, use any, any, any hand uh, that, uh, that is there. There is another program called GSM Decode, which uh, is layer, plus, layer 2 plus decoder. So uh, it takes the output of T-Void or GSM receiver and uh, puts it into a human readable format that you can actually understand the protocol. 
Um, at the very same level, you can also just interface Wireshark, which uh, has uh, also uh, quite uh, complete support for GSM protocols by now. Um, still a couple of bits missing here and there, but it, it's okay. GSM stack is a Mac layer that I started some time ago, but um, I didn't uh, really uh, finish it. The idea is just to have, uh, to, to have a more modular architecture, and I'm working on integrating it with GSM receiver at some point. So um, before I go to the actual practical demonstration, I'll leave just that uh, thanks slide, and I'll switch to um, a different laptop. Mm. I don't think the cable is long enough. Uh, I'll find a solution. It's not that you need any special laptop. It's just that I happen to have used the software last on this particular device, so um, you know everything is compiled and and and. Ooh. Um, Uh, there we go. Okay, now, oh, what happened now? Sorry for that. Hmm. Oh, no, it is actually working. Okay. It's just very, very, very strange. Oh, this is, my goodness. I have a different terminal window here than there. Um, sorry. Um, Ah, this is much better. Okay, now finally. Okay, so basically, um, just to explain the general setup, you have this USRP device here. It has uh, GSM 900 antennas. Um, GSM 900 antennas that can be tuned, for example, to our test network here. Um, the USRP uh, contains the, the main board and, and the receiver front end. Um, it doesn't understand anything about GSM. It's basically just, you know, turning the RF interface into bits that uh, go over the USB cable into this uh, laptop. And then on the laptop, I start um, software components that are from the AirProbe project or are hosted at the AirProbe pro Air pro project. It's more of a, a platform for uh, all kinds of developers who work with GSM-related uh, protocol analysis. And um, uh, also, uh, all the, the, the GNU Radio software and the USRP uh, input plugins for GNU Radio and, and, and all that software is utilized. So the dependency of all the bits and pieces of software you need right now is still relatively complex and building all of that, uh, you know, it's, it's a bit uh, uncomfortable. Also, the, the actual user experience of, of the various programs is not very, um, is not very uh, welcoming. So there's a lot of work still needed in that area. Um, okay, now, um, what I have here is a, a checked out tree of the, um, is a checked out tree of the Git tree of the, the uh, AirPro project. Uh, you see the individual software components that are in there. Um, what I'm going to use now is the GSM receiver code. Um, and um, in, in the GSM receiver code, I can start uh, the process to actually turn the, the bits into, into uh, something that's uh, useful. So um, GSM receive has a number of different uh, programs. Uh, one of them is uh, GSM uh, receive, obviously, is the name of the, the program. Um, if you don't call it with any options, it will give you some kind of error. If you call it with help, it gives you some useful output. So what I'm going to use now, rather than using a, oops, sorry, rather than using a live capture from the USRP, I'm using a pre-recorded 